I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Happy afternoon to you. Happy Thursday to you. Let's get an update on what's happening out in the tropics. Of course, we did have something fairly significant happen this morning. We did have a new outlook, an update on our hurricane season outlook that was issued by Colorado State University. Of course, they issued the initial 2023 hurricane season outlook in April with uh, below normal number of name storms expected and then in June on the first day of hurricane season I believe they issued an update to that so where we were likely going to have an average hurricane season but today they issued another update this is the July 6 update well now they're expecting above normal storms for this hurricane season an above normal number 18 name storms nine hurricanes and four major hurricanes expected now this is due to the fact that the sea surface temperatures in the tropical Atlantic are at record warm levels. So we are expecting a big El Nino pattern to set up, and that normally would mean a lower number of name storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes. But due to the fact that the waters in the Atlantic are so warm, we're likely going to have an above normal hurricane season. So this is something we will be monitoring closely. An average season would give us 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes, and we could end up with more than that. Check out the sea surface temps. They are well above the norm all across the Atlantic, well into the 80s, about four to six degrees above normal. And this is why we are expecting that by the time we get to our typical peak of hurricane season, which is usually August and September, we could have a lot of action and a lot of dangerous tropical systems developing out here in the Atlantic. Fortunately, we're getting a break now. No tropical cyclone formation expected during the next seven days. Things are very quiet out in the Atlantic, quiet as well in the Caribbean, up towards Puerto Rico, down around northern portions of South America. Not much at all going on. There are some showers and storms storms out in the Western Caribbean, close to the Yucatan Peninsula and over towards Cuba, but nothing that is expected to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm. In the Gulf of Mexico, things are quiet as well. We do have a couple of systems I want to talk about in the Eastern Pacific. They're not depressions or storms yet, but there's a 50% chance for a system south of the southern Mexican coast to develop over the next seven days. And we have a high chance for a tropical depression to develop, especially by this weekend with this system off of the southwestern Mexican coast. So those will be moving away from Mexico and away from the U.S., but still we will be monitoring it closely. We've already had three named storms, Arlene, Brett, and Cindy so far this season, and it's still pretty early on in the season. The next name storm for the Atlantic tropical basin would be Dawn and we'll be monitoring things closely. But overall, we are dealing with the threat for more storms developing out there, more tropical storms, more hurricanes, especially as we get closer to August and September. Of course, that peak right around September 10th. So even though things are pretty quiet for the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean and the Atlantic now, Things could change and get active very quickly, so we'll be monitoring it daily. Grab our Fox 26 weather app for all of your tropical updates and local weather as well. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Have a great evening.